are following up now to that breaking news we brought you earlier this hour. Donald Trump's campaign filing a lawsuit in Nevada, the first we have seen from his campaign on Election Day. NBC Justice correspondent Pete Williams has an update for us now out of our voting watch unit set up on our election center. Pete. So a little more detail about what this is. This is the complaint that was filed. It was actually filed last night, just after 5 o'clock p.m. Las Vegas time in Clark County. And what the Trump campaign uh, argues here and claims in this lawsuit is that at four different polling places, not just the one in the Hispanic neighborhood, but at, at four different uh, polling places, Cardenas Market, all of these are in Las Vegas, Deer Springs Town Center, Silverado Ranch Plaza, and the Las Vegas Strip uh, on West Harmon Avenue. They say there were two problems. They say in, in a couple of these polling places, the poll workers made the decision earlier in the day that they would stay open until 10 o'clock, not just when they saw that there was a long line. So that's their first claim. And of course, almost every state has a rule that if you're in line when the polls close, whoever's in line can vote. So that's the first claim. And the second claim, they say, is the one we talked about earlier, that people who showed up after they came, got into the end of the line after the polls closed and were still allowed to vote. So here's what they say. What we want you to do is to set aside any affected ballots and any affected voting machines. Don't commingle them. Don't throw them all in with the bin of all the people who vote today till we can decide whether these are going to count or not. It's a hundred pages of legal filing and it includes several affidavits, sworn statements by people who claim they were at these polling places and saw a number of what they claim were irregularities. So that's what this lawsuit is about, Hallie. Pete Williams, thank you very much. I know you're going to stay on top of monitoring that. I want to bring in now Neera Tandon, the president and CEO of the Center for American Progress Action Fund and an informal advisor to Hillary Clinton. She is also the former policy director for Clinton's 2008 campaign. Neera, thanks for being here. Let's, Great to be with you. Let's stick to the news that Pete Williams is talking about. This lawsuit mm -hmm. filed in Nevada. You have been around campaigns a while. What is your take on this? Look, I think this is clearly just a desperate attempt by for uh, by the Trump campaign to actually rig the vote to ensure that people can't vote. It's very clear, according to Nevada law, that you can vote if you're in line. And uh, I think there's a lot of that's just really trying to throw a bunch of smoke and mirrors here, depress the vote. But I'm really excited about the turnout throughout the country. We're seeing Democratic counties from Florida, New Hampshire, Ohio. People are voting. I'm here in Philly. I mm -hmm. went door to door. There's a lot of excitement out there. David Bossy, the deputy campaign manager for Donald Trump's campaign, Nira, was on this show uh, earlier this hour who said this lawsuit is simply about following the rules uh, that are out there, the rules of the game, basically. Do you buy that? No, I don't buy that. I think this is a blatant attempt to depress the vote, and uh, they've done it probably too late. And I think the law is very, very clear here that everything has been followed. You know, really, the difference between the parties couldn't be stark. Democrats want to get more and more people out to vote. Republicans are trying to stop people from voting. This election, this lawsuit is yeah. just another lawsuit in terms of Trump Republicans going from state to state to restrict voting, restrict sites. We want to, people to vote. We want people to have a, we want to have a large turnout and we're seeing that. It's very exciting. You, you say it's exciting. I know Clinton uh, top aide was on, on MSNBC earlier today saying they are tired but elated. Is there any concern you're celebrating too soon? Uh, you know, uh, I've been in a lot of elections. No one is celebrating. I literally just came from door knocking myself. And I know there are thousands of volunteers out there every uh, every hour, 10,000 this morning. Um, so, uh, you know, we have a lot of work to do over the next couple of hours. It's going to be it is going to be a tight yeah. race, but I'm excited by how many people are coming out. Nira, I got to ask you before I let you go about these WikiLeaks hacked emails, uh, apparently from John Podesta's personal file. Your name obviously has come mm -hmm. up in these calling Hillary Clinton bleeping insane to use a private email system, calling her instincts no. suboptimal. Do you worry about the long term <laughs> damage? Uh, those aren't really accurate, but I don't worry about that because I think that Hillary and everyone has been really focused on what's really at stake in this election, and I think it's unfortunate how many hurdles have come her way, but this campaign is, is meeting and surpassing each and every one of them. Neera Tandon, former policy director for the Clinton 2008 campaign, thank you very much.
MSNBC's Casey Hunt is in Chappaqua, New York, where Hillary Clinton is today. Casey, what do you have for us? Any updates on what Clinton's up to, how her campaign's feeling?